with Madonna at the mansion on the hill. Wake up with our gorgeous Queen Madonna. Good morning to you. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to another special Meetup Monday on Mornings with Madonna. You might recognize our special host. My friend and neighbor, Joe. Meh, he doesn't seem very special. He was just here last week. Oh, thank you, both of you. This is such a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Today on the show, I have a gift for Joe. I've put it there in front of you, Joe. I never get any gifts on the show. It looks like a hat box, Madonna. <laughs> it is indeed. Go ahead and open it. Oh, wow. Amazing. It's a top hat. A silk top hat. Not just any silk top hat, but a silk top hat original to this mansion. That silk top hat was worn by Moret's second chauffeur. Can you read the initials on the inside of that hat, Joe? I could probably read them. Cliffy Poo, I asked Joe to read it. This is his gift. It says W-E-H. That's right. William Hendrick. Go ahead and try it on. Oh my, it is tight. It does not fit well. <laughs> yeah, it's way too small because humans a hundred years ago were significantly smaller than today. As a matter of fact, to find a silk top hat that fits a modern human head is exceedingly rare and worth thousands of dollars. The last silk top hat that was commercially made was made over 60 years ago. So top hats in general are quite rare. And it doesn't flex. It's very rigid. Uh, it's not made out of fabric, Joe. It's made out of shellac. It took over 150,000 little lac insects to produce the resin that they used to make that hat. Every hat was custom made. The haberdasher would make a wood model of your head and then build the resin hat around it. It took the shellac resin months to cure. And as it was wrapped with silk, the silk it take itself takes thousands of silkworms to produce. That entire hat is made with hundreds of thousands of insects. Building a silk top hat is quite an ordeal. Do you mean the carpenters went through all of that to make a hat for their chauffeur? Well, a silk top hat symbolized so much. They were iconic and refined and mansion staff reflected on the owners themselves. Remember that nobody, man or woman, would go outside without some sort of a hat on all the way into the 1960s. So if a chauffeur was going to don a hat while he was in service to Moret, it was going to be a top-notch silk top hat. So thank you, Joe, for helping model the antique and historic hat. You know what, go in my purse Get a dollar and treat yourself. Well, thank you, Madonna. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. We will see you tomorrow on Mornings with Madonna. Mornings with Madonna is 300 days. Will be 300 ways to see 300 clifton.